ચાર્ય ગુરુ વર્ગ કી જય વય મંડલ છત્ર મંડલ ગૌર મંડલ કી જય ગંગા જમુના તુલસી ભક્ત બિંદા દેવી કી જય સર્વાભિષ્ટ પ્રદતા શ્રી ગોવર્ધન કી જય ભક્ત અભિનાશક સિંહ દેવ કી જય ભક્ત રાય પ્રહલાદ મહારાજ કી જય ગ્રંથ રાય સંત ભાગવતમ કી જય ગ્રંથેશ્વતા ભક્ત બિંદ કી જય સમાવેદ ગૌર ભક્ત બિંદ કી જય ગૌર પ્રેમાનંદે જ્ઞાનંજન શ્લાઘ્ય ચક્ષુરુન્મીલિતંગેન તસ્મૈ શ્રી ગુરવે નમ વંચાકલ્પતુર્ભ્ય કૃપા સિંધુભ્યે પતિ પાવનેભ્યો વૈષ્ણવેભ્યો નમો મહાપદન્યા કૃષ્ણ પ્રેમ પ્રદાય કૃષ્ણા કૃષ્ણ ચૈતન્યને ગૌરતિશે ગુરવે ગૌરચંદ્રાય રાધિકાય તદાલય કૃષ્ણાય કૃષ્ણ ભક્તાય તદભક્તાય ભક્તિહીનાપરાધિ દામોદર લીલા વિચ આઈ ટોલ્ડ યુ I am telling you, it since three days, all the Brajabhashis become so wild. That in Gokul, so many disturbances are coming. So many demons coming, attacking Krishna, and they want to kill Krishna. So, it is better to leave Gokul and to go in a very pleasant forest where, where plenty of grasses for the house, plenty of water, river, very good forest for playing Krishna and Baldev. we can have also we should see that where there is no any disturbance or the path of demons so path means presence disturbance no બટ ફર્સ્ટ શુડ બી સો પ્લીઝ દેટ શુડ બી કક્કુ વર્લ્ડ પી કોક્સ ડીયર્સ એન્ડ પ્લેટી ઓફ ગ્રાસીસ ફોર કોક્સ Upanand told that Maharashandil Rishi is here. He knows everything, loop and corner of all the Vindavan. And I also have some experience. So we can go to Vindavan. 
Vrindavan or Govardhan Hill is so pleasant, so pleasant. Oh, very, what is flow are there? River is there. So beautiful Manshi Ganga is there. And all the things for playing Krishna is there. Plenty of plenty of grass. Ghat is there. So and also in Vrindavan. There are so many banyan trees. People trees, so many forest of Kadamba, Tamal, so much deer there. Water of Jamna is so lovely, so basically there. At last they decided to go there. Anand Baba. Ghoshana ki announced announce on drum by his then servant that tomorrow in very morning about four, five or all cows should be directed towards Vrindavan crossing Jamuna river nearby all, all wealth should be taken on bullock cords. The old person, father and mothers and others, they should be, they should go on cords. Also the very little boys, they should go on cord. And rest, they will follow cows, they should pick march from here. So Krishna and Baldev were sitting on a cart, very big cart, with Krishna and Baldev with Mother Rohini and Yasoda. And other children were with their mothers, old persons were in Bula. First of all, all the cowl herd, young persons, they were going with the march with cows. Cows were like endless ocean and there were some streams of black cows and white, white cows. So beautiful the scenery. And miles over miles all were marching in a very pleasant way. They made a pool of, um, they made a boat, so many boats, with banyan trees, banyan trees, keeping so many branches of trees on them, very tightly binded. And thousands and thousands, lakhs and lakhs go and gopis. They cross through the, these boards and bullock cord. They march in the water. All the cows crossed by, by swimming. Swimming. Little bit is cops with their mother. All very pleasant. Quickly jumping and crossing. They took their body breakfast on the bank of Jamna River and took some rest and then quickly marched towards Chakti Karagram. Now Chakti Karagram is situated on the north side of Hinda. North or west? North. North. East. 
I want to go to Grace House. Then this is so dark. So funny. No, no, why you are so orphan? Yeah, this was small. It's small. It's small one. You can. Mother, I should go. Because this is all. Yeah, once come say. Tradition. Our tradition. We should go. And he was so jiddy. Jiddy. Obstinate. Obstinate. What is the meaning of obstinate? Stubborn. Oh, I must go, my mother. I must go. Then anyhow, priest was all. And a special day was seen. And that was Gopashtim. Then Baba, Upananda and all the superior books, they decided that Krishna is so small, so there's with children nearby places, they should go to place small puffs, not with cows. Krishna was happy. And thus, the Sodha decorated him in a special way. And brought some shoes and the umbrella for Krishna. So, God was Vasit, Nishinda Deva was Vasit, Sadhakram was Vasit, in a special way. But the Sodha Mama decorated Krishna so much, making decorating Krishna. And he never wanted that he should go, so he was decorating, decorating. And the auspicious time was going, passing. So priest wanted that Krishna should go. And we should have so many cows in Indonesia. Indonesia. So they make him quickly, quickly. But Jasoda was, but Jasoda wanted to be shoes for Krishna and Babdev and Namrita. Krishna told Mother, cows are our superior and worship of it. You should try to give one one umbrella and one one four four shoes for all cows. And then we will supply and we will make them wear shoes. Make them wear space and umbrella. And then we will take it. Otherwise we will not take it. Why? Because Krishna wanted to touch all the earth with his feet. So that is to be so much but auspicious. Earth wanted to take Krishna feet on her breast. In preparing the breast of earth is like mountains. So she always wanted that Krishna should keep feet on them. That is why Krishna. Never to umbrella or any shoe. Then, after getting donation, how so many Krishna began to go towards forest with so many cows. Oh, beautiful cows, some small, some bigger, some bigger, but all within one year. Someone but only one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, like this. She cops and boy cops both were there. But Yasoda wanted to always be embrace Krishna. So she was now telling though Krishna and Baldev with his friends, Dham, Shidam, Subhadmat, Mangal and all, 
They came out of the village, Nandagam, Nandagam or Bindam, Shakita. But Jasodha was not in a mood to give up Krishna. So Krishna is telling Mother, you should return, you should return, you should return. And she is returning and again Krishna went, goes one, two steps forward, Jasodha, again weeping, like cows for their cows. Again, at last Krishna told, that my bow of bow, bow of my head, just so great. Then just so that, stop. Then Nanda Baba and other folks were coming. <coughs> Anyhow, Krishna stopped them also. There were so many gopis, friends go. They said, what? Four, three, Fine. There are also worshipping Krishna with their crooked eyes. And Krishna was accepted in with his eyes. They wanted to meet with Krishna. Sitting on the side of what? Rooftop balcony. Huh? Balcony. balcony. From doors, from window. windows, yes. some came out of their house, or standing on the porch. This is beautiful, decorated with pig of feather, also good kastu, mami, bansi, kastu iti lakam nalat patale bastak chale kastu. Nāsātre mōtikam. Here. Oh. What jewels here? Here. Here means? So, brightly. Literally. Oh, this kundals. Very good. All with kissing. Krishna. And so good. Pila. and like. You know Alka in this country. Like this. Chandan Bindu. Chandan means? Not only Chandal. Kum Kum, Kasturi, Karpur and all. Oh, very fast. Fragrant and also so, making so much Shita. Oh. Like here, like Makari. Huh? Well, you know, the spiders, like these, very beautiful looking Krishna. And Kasturi Tilakam, we are Kasturi Tilakam. So beautiful. So anyone, then they wanted to return. Especially gopis, but Hare Krishna. Told them repeatedly that you should not return. I am not going far away. I am very far, very near. I will return. So they became like faint, weeping more, and they stood. At last, Krishna entered in the forest. He was not seen, and then they were. Seen what? Dust was in this form. And when it was also subsided, then anyhow Nanda Baba, Yeshu, and others there, anyhow they took a return back to all others. So this then the Krishna went to the forest, very nearby. After some days, he was going and doing it. One day, with Baladev and others, he was in Kakaukas, that is. In the meantime, a demon in the shape of Kaf, 
He was somewhat very strong, strong and healthy. Strong. And some bad fragrance was coming because they used to take opium, you know, flesh, meat, eggs, and bad things. Opium, you know. And all the bad things, especially made with meat and other things. Also, my pain. So, bad smell was coming from his nose and mouth. And it was very severe. <coughs> so, all the cops, when they, he used to come to them and wanted to mix with them, all the general cops, Taking their tails hard as a round. They used to jump, jump and to go towards Krishna and Bhadi. Fear. So Krishna looking towards Bhadi. What is happening? Today I am seeing that all the cops are fearing and this beautiful but this very strong. This new cops I am seeing. Bhadi told by his eyes, not by words. Yes, there is something. We should be careful. And then. He wanted to come gradually nearby Krishna and to kill Krishna and then to Balde. But at once Krishna caught both his left his hind legs. Hind legs. And did like this. And he fell down on the tree. When Krishna followed and he was running to escape, this first was called Khadiva, Khadiravan. Khadiravan, you know. We have done there. Khadiravan. Khadiravan is to fall. And thus he was killed. Also, you know that after some day there was a very big Vakasu. What means? And he gave up his lower big big cop big on the earth our next upper side he took on this cop. And he went up to solve all Krishna. Krishna wanted to be careful, but he at once came. At first he was in trance, like yogis. He standing on one leg, nearby any water, nearby Yamuna. And he went to swallow Krishna. And then he quickly picked up Krishna. And Krishna became like a hot iron ball. So he could not keep in his So he vomited. Again he went to attack. And just quickly put his leg, one leg, on the head, his lower peak, and with hand, how oh, he did that. And he was divided into two, and thus was killed. These 
through demons were the embodiment of duplicity. Duplicity and hypocrisy. 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 You know about hypocrisy? Hmm? <laughs> Nowadays, there are so many Bhakasu at the time of Krishna. Only one Bhakasu was there. But nowadays, we cannot count so many Bhakasu. What is Bhakasu? Embodiment of hypocrisy, yeah, duplicity, and all. Those who have taken initiation and those who are chanting her name, quoting Tilak and Kanti Mala and all. But they are very tricky. They have They do have hope. They play hypocrisy and duplicity. Outer like friend and inner like Satru and Outside like very sweet words and inner word having a knife. <laughs> so Krishna can recognize this and he can destroy them. And we see that they are falling by very quickly, quickly. If you have money, you chant them, hai name, and hear the kata. And he is associated. He should be very far away from all these things. But he is chanting, remembering, and doing Vaishnava, being Vaishnava. They are very much attached to wealth. Reputation and followers also and wives also, children also, so much attachment. They are all duplicitous. Those who play duplicity always criticizing Vaishnavas, offending Vaishnavas for very any very little bit. Petty reasons. Petty reasons. They are more offenders. They are actually not Vaishnava. But to be attached, also this is not good. We should do Krishna Samsha. Krishna Samsha, you know? Making Krishna center and then thinking that my wife is beloved of Krishna. My husband is beloved of Krishna. My children are servant of Krishna. Thus, this is Krishna Shusha. We should support and nourish this. And make all the servant of Krishna. And thus, we should associate all with Vaishnavas. And whatever we do, do for Krishna. And remnant should be given to all. This is Krishna Shamsa. It can be done. It is allowed. Like all the gopis were. Family. Also, so many devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, associates, were like household. Also, Pandvas were householders. So if we are a householder, then not so much attached, but for Krishna we can do all these things. Because we cannot be so much renounced order person, so we can gradually do like this. And when we will come at the age of 50, 60, gradually we should give up. Giving all this to our sons and sons' wife, 
and sometimes we Ban Prasti and after that in Ban Prasti we can live with your wife, no home. But after some time you should give your wife also to your sons and be Bhakka renounced and do that. Like Bhakti Gnotha. So this family men or family life is not bad. We can learn so many things in family life. This is also a perverted reflection of that word. Like a ladder. We can go gradually up by this. But where the family life is not like a ladder, not like a school, only for uh, trading, then it is a very bad thing. This would be a training school like this. How to love Krishna? Oh, I should love like my son. I should love Krishna like my husband, more than husband. Like beloved, like friend. So, this is like a training school. And those who have tested all these things in previous past lives, they have an impression of all that. So, they will not do household at life. And those, they pretend to be brahmachari, but actually not brahmachari. Oh, after some time they will fail out. Even they are taking sannyas, renounce all that, and preaching in the whole world. But people from inside, they are so much attracted to ladies and girls and girls. So they are never qualified for this renounce all that. But they for wealth and reputation they need. But good should not be enough to them. So, there are so many things. These are all those who are not following all these things. They are Pakasu. So we should try to be careful from Pakasu. You cannot kill Pakasu yourself. Who will kill? Focus. Bhadev can be. So Monday, they were praising, praising cows and they went to Madhuka, uh, Talgan. You know Talgan? All the girls are very thirsty and very hungry. Part again, go in the world. Go in the world. I don't know the story so well. Oh, huh? I don't know the story so well. I have told so many times. And if you do not remember, I will remember you by twisting your yeah. ears. Very quickly you will remember. <laughs> So shortly after, Krishna had killed Bhagasura. He and the Kave boys, um, they went again. They were taking care of. Um, they were taking care of the house. They were still under the age of five years, and. Putana and Bakasura, um, they had a younger brother. They had a younger brother. Putana had one sister and two brothers. Bakasura and Nagasu. One of them, Bakasura, was killed. Now Bakasura. And he became so 
So Anasu was um, very angry that his older brother's sister had been killed and again being instigated by Kamsa. And they promised Kamsa. I will take again that I will surely Kamsa. So then he again is um, under the influence of Yogamaya. He was able to enter into Vrindavan. And he came in the form of a serpent, but not just a normal serpent. He also was a great mystic yogi. Python? Python. 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 A python, a particular type of snake, a python. And he expanded his body <coughs> eight miles long, it's explained. And he went on the, on the path, and then with this expanded body, he opened his mouth with his lower jaw on the ground and just as Bhattasura had previously opened his mouth and the beak was right to the sky so similarly Adasura opened his mouth in such a way that his upper jaw was um, up in the clouds practically was touching the sky so the cowherd boys they were playing and then from as he opened his uh, mouth, then from within a very foul smell was um, emanating from within his intestines, um, a very fishy smell. Let's explain. All the cowherd boys began to tell him, oh, what is this? So then the cowherd boys, they sing this uh, big structure. Then looking at each other, they say, oh, what is this? And they thought, um, this is like a mountain. At first they thought, oh, this looks like a very, very big mountain which is going right up to the sky. Then on close examination, then they saw that, no, this is not a mountain, but this is a huge snake. And... Cave. They saw that this is a cave. Cave of that mountain. Mouth was like a cave. The entrance to the cave. Excuse me? The mountain was like a cave. I said, he's so bigger. So that then they thought it was um, a cave, but then upon closer um, the entrance looking like a cave, then close examination, then they saw that um, actually this is a big snake. No, no. <laughs> Well, oh, they were saying that a very rape. Beautiful carpet. So, so then they saw that um, the entrance that there's this. should go whether a serpent or mountain cave. No. Oh, Krishna is there. He is coming behind. Oh, he must save us. That's what you You are very eager. I can go a bit more. No, no. Go on, go on. No, no, no. No, no, no. So, okay, that's unlucky. So then, um, they, they, quick, they proceeded very confidently, um, walking into the mouth of Adasura because they were they had the confidence that Krishna was with them and that whatever would happen that Krishna would protect them. And what Krishna was doing? Krishna was scratching his head. Huh? He was wondering, what is going on here? And he was in the last row. Yes, he was behind, but he did not go in with them. He stayed outside and he was looking at this... Um, Why are you going? I cannot them. They have And he was... So, Adasura, even though all the cowboy boys had walked in, as it's explained that Krishna, he was um, looking in amazement also, that how Maya, the material energy, Mahamaya, could manifest such a, a wonderful thing as this big snake. So, the cowboy boys, they walked in, and, but Adasura was not satisfied because actually he wanted Krishna. So then, finally, Krishna also, then he followed the cowherd boys and then he walked into the mouth of the, the big serpent. 
Then the serpent, being satisfied that Krishna was within, then he closed his jaws. And within, within the um, mouth of the um, serpent, then the cowherd boys, actually they fainted. All the cops also then. All the, all the young cows, which um, the cowherd boys had been taken, taken care of, they also went into the mouth of Adasura. And they all fainted. And then... Um, in the stomach. Hmm? In the stomach also. Yeah? Wait, wait, tell again. <laughs> so then, um, Adasura, having Krishna and the cowherd boys cast within his mouth, um, then he wanted to devour all of them. But then Krishna, he became um, very, very hot. Where? Within his jaw. No. No. Within his throat, that's what I meant, within the throat. <laughs> so, so Adaso could not breathe, he was choking. And then what he was doing? He was doing chak 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 so, so then Adasu was, was fighting, becoming restless, moving his head left and right, trying to get rid of this. He wanted to vomit, vomit out, just as Bhattasura previously had vomited, but this time Krishna would not allow. And Krishna just got hotter and hotter and hotter, the heat increased so much within the head of Adasura, his head was about to burst. And then his eyes, like big red bullets, they were <laughs> <laughs> and then Adasura, the big serpent, just started to roll, um, squiggling all over the place. And then <laughs> the heat. And then finally, um, Krishna, the, um, then, then the light air of Adasura um, just could not take the intense pain and heat and just bust it out through a um, hole in this, in, in this um, skull. So then, um, his mouth open because no. Huh? Yeah, his atmos I said his like his atmos came out and was hovering, hovering in the sky. Meanwhile all the demigods they were up, they were looking at the whole scene, wondering what was going on. Because when Krishna had gone in, they had thought, Oh, alas, Krishna will be killed. Oh, calamity, what tragedy. So they were watching this whole scene. And then they saw this Atma just floating up in the air and they wondered what's going to happen next. When Krishna man came out? Then Krishna, the, oh, Krishna he came yeah. out. No, he opened his mouth. Oh, he, Krishna opened the mouth of Avasura. And all of He revived yeah. the cow the boys and the cows. And then they walked out. Um, when came, Krishna came. And then when Krishna came, At once that the Atma that was hovering in the sky then went and merged into the body of Krishna. No, he his feet. His, his feet. It's all not, this is not in Krishna book all this. I can only go by what I've read. So, um, so then it's explained that how fortunate this Adasura was, that though a demon, um, but still, um, the, he achieved Baba, the Atma merged into his into the, his foot. So anyway, I won't say that. <laughs> so then, um, what happened next? The and then after this, something. You know some stutis of Brahman. Hmm. My apologies. I'm just about to read this down. <laughs> so try to remember something more. So, when Krishna, he came out from the mouth of Agasur, and Agasur had been uh, relieved of 
all of his, someone will say, Krishna has killed him. No, Krishna has destroyed all his false ego, or his sinful body, and liberated that Atma. So seeing this, all the demigods, they became overjoyed. They began to beat drums and dance and chant and shower flowers on Krishna. So at that time, Brahmaji, the uh, creator of this universe, the highest of all the demigods, he was moving in the sky there on his swan carrier. And he was thinking, oh, what, what's going on? What is all this celebration about? And he came and he saw the Atma of Agasur enter into the lotus feet of Krishna. At that time, he was very astonished. What became? He was very astonished. What became? Of Agasur Atma, what became? You should tell all these things. All the years ago. Ten years ago, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> But he knows all the prayers, he was waiting for that. But <laughs> this is all the essence and siddhan. Only it can be learned in association of high class of person and real life so. Otherwise not. We can remember the slopes and so many things. But those some things are to be associate, to associate and to be. So, Sarva Padhasura get liberation. What kind of a Sajidya or not Sajidya? So, what? There is five kinds of Mukti. Sarukko, Sarukko, Sasti, Samikko and Sajidya. Among these five, devotees don't like Sajidya liberation. What is this Sajidya? Sajidya means imagine Brahma. This is called Sajidya. What happens there? They are just like giving Upasana Theatre. Uh, the person they has no sense, he don't know what is going on. Similarly, in Sahitya Mukti, soul could not understand that he is there or not, what is going on is just like a like stone. There is no realization of his soul. And there is no action in his soul. So he gave Sarupa Mukti. Seeing this, or what is Sarupamukti? Sarupa means same form like Bhagavan, but not same way from Bhagavan, associates of Bhagavan, same form of like is associated. A shape like associates of Nine. Like Nine. 400, 400. But not uh, like Krishna, some, some letter will be there. Yes. And what is Samitya? Samitya means uh, near anyone who is liberated and he receives uh, Samitya. Samitya. He goes very nearer to Krishna, a very nearer lok or a lok like. And there is also a sasti. Sasti means like same opulence. Like opulence, like Krishna, but not same. Like same, but not same. Not so much. Very little. Why Vaishnava don't take this whole uh, size of the tender effect? The enemies of Krishna. Ramachandra, killed by them. Killed by Bhagavan, they get that kind of liberation. And that kind of liberation. What? So and also the uh, devotees like, in first case of Sukadeva Goswami, they also had some attraction. For this is also so high cost. But Vaishnava don't take it there. Diyamanam upi binamat sivanam jana. Also they don't want Samitya, Sarupya. Sarupya, Sarupya. So Krishna, any how Vasit would get him, Sarupya Mukti. Like Narayan, any shape, nearer to any law. But Vaishnava don't do Seeing this, 
Oh, how rare is this Mukti? Even so, Brahmavadi, they don't have this He has easily felt like Krishna and he has received. So he was thinking about this. Then he knew that for his supreme personality of Godhead, they are not demi God or anything. I want to see him some more past times. Then the Brahma don't somebody, they say that Brahma want to test, but no. Brahma being our Purvacharya, he could not keep this conception in his mind that I shall test him. No. He want to see more past times by his own effort. Why? Because Jogamaya attracts Brahma, because in Braj, Krishna used to go for during milking time, then all cows they are think they used to think, oh, if Krishna will be our cow, then I shall give our milk. We will give milk. We will give milk and he will be my shop. And he will be our cow. And all Sogis of Mother Yasoda, they are thinking, oh, if Krishna will be our son, it will be very good fortune for us. Because on the way back from cow raising, all Yasoda Sokis, they used to take Krishna in their lap, one after another. After that, Mother Yasoda, taking Krishna away to his own residence. So they are thinking, oh, we can, he used to take Krishna only for a moment. But Mother Yasoda is so fortunate, he used to sleep with Krishna, he knows Krishna always. So if Krishna will be our son, then we can nourish Krishna like Yasoda. Then it will be our very good fortune. Now all the gopis, in age. They are thinking, oh, Krishna will be our husband, then Krishna is so, so beautiful, sweet, beautiful, so sweet, so attractive, so strong, so strong. If so Krishna, we want that Krishna should be our husband. So Krishna knew all. Teenage are five or teenage. Yes. <laughs> Those who are not married. Like so young. Yes, young, like, not young. Age like Krishna age, like Paul Gonon. Yes, I will give So, like in India, little little babies, they took some pots full of water and they go to Sanka and they do our shape. And oh, we want very beautiful husbands. Though they are not uh, mature, even they. So that. So, Krishna can accomplish so many things, with, so, so many, accomplish so many tasks with his own action. So, Krishna ordered Jogmaya. Then Jogmaya? No, not ordered, but he wished. He wished, and Jogmaya at once came and wanted to so fulfill Krishna's desires. So, Brahma came and he. So, Jogmaya inspired him Brahma. Brahma. Then Jogmaya inspired in Brahma, then Brahma stole his old cups. At first, Krishna was taking their bhaj, their meal under one tree, and cups are grazing nearby. Then Brahma stole away the old cups and hid it near Tapovan in the bank of Jamuna. All Sokas were thinking, where is our cows? They could not find. Then Krishna told, wait a little bit, I shall find out all of them. If not, I shall play and include, then all cows will come. Sokas didn't know. Then you can see, we are going. So they also went away, and leaving Krishna, they went for searching cows. Then Brahma... No, no, no. They were sitting there. Krishna told that you cannot search. Actually, I will search. So, Krishna told them that you should take here, take meals, and I am just coming very soon. Krishna asked them, when, here, when? And when he saw him for searching, then Brahma came and quickly take, quickly take all covered boys and hide them in the same place. Then Krishna came and thinking, searching. What, what happened? No calves, no covered boys. When I shall go back, how I shall reply? At that day, it was 
बर्थ स्टार ऑफ बर्थ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ बलदेव प्रभु की वॉज नॉट प्रेजेंट एट दैट डे दिस इज थिंकिंग ऑल मदर्स इज आस्क मी हो कहना यू कैन अलोन हेल्स माई सॉन हो एस ए रिप्लाई देन जी टू नारीला ही बिकेम सो सरप्राइज एंड इज वरिंग और ही इज फेस बिकेम ड्राई is in hand there is some food stuff or rice and some people he forget to eat it he searching here and there then by help of jogmaya he knew this fact that brahma stole away everything from here so krishna the brahma keeping them in cave there in a bank of jamuna went to brahmalo When he entered to Brahmalo, Krishna became Brahma by his own one one form, and ordered his servant, "The somebody want to cheat me. He is coming cheat you all. He want to cheat you all. He is coming like my own form for a day. Be careful. Don't be cheated by that. Don't let him come here. Imposter. Imposter. Don't let him come here." When Brahma is to when Brahma is entering, because he is entering his own residence, no need to ask anyone. He is watching, watching, watchman told, don't enter. Who are there. you? Who are you? Brahma told, are you mad? And no, no, we are not mad. You are mad. <laughs> If you are mad, we shall break your leg. <laughs> Brahma said, what is going to be happen? Any other day they never insult me. They are insulting me or they want to beat me. And Brahma became surprised. He came back and meditated. Oh, he saw his the Krishna himself. Then he became sorry and come back again to Braj. He returned to Braj. He returned to Braj and he saw Krishna is grazing cows, grazing cows with his cowherd's boys. With all cowherd. With all cowherd boys. Here and there playing. Here and there playing. There is nothing that have nothing happened. Then he rubbed his eyes and saw all cups, all cover was become four hundred head, hundred. Why? Because possible duty of Brahma is Garuda or Sai Vishnu four hundred. So Krishna want to show Brahma that what to say about me? The Krishna supreme person of the Godhead, but his cups, his covered boys, skin, their clothes. Not less than God or Sai Vishnu, they are all are transcendental. Then Brahma is doing pranam again and again, and now he is praying to Krishna. Now again, Krishna, so he saw that Krishna is alone, alone, and searching his cups and cow boy, covered boys, and very sad. Then he began to pray, and oh, you are supreme personality of God. I could not understand him, and then he began to begin to pray. Now, now Miss Dhati, Abra Babushe, Kalidam Paraya, Gunya Bhatam Sapari Pichala Sanmukhaya, Vanna Sari Kavala Vetra Gisana Venu, Lakshma Sri Mudu Pade Pasu Panga Jaya. Our Purva Chaja Brahma is telling Pasu Panga Jaya. Brahma is telling that he is son of Nanda Baba. How we can say that he is not known to all with the by this law? Pasu pango jaya, pasu po. Pasu po means who take care of cows is pasu po, and who took birth from him, who take birth from him is pasu pango jaya. That means pasu po is known to Baba, who came from known to Baba is Krishna. No matter the other Baba who say, Brahma is telling him, go down in his lotus feet. Who is this? No matter the opera, but who say his body like new cloud, totally amber eye, just like in cloud there is lightning. His pita amber just like lightning in his on his body. There is in cloud, in cloud lightning. His just body like new cloud and his pita amber like lightning. Pita amber means pita amber means different cloud. Like a oh, this chadar, chadar, it like it, it, like thunderbolt, like thunderbolt. Gunya bhagavan sa pani pit 
Sabhasan Mukhaya. What is his decoration? What is his ornament? Gunja Bhatansa. One kind of fruit. So, Gunja is another thing. Bhatansa is another thing. Not both are same. Gunja here. Bhatansa means ear. Ear, what thing? Ear, ear, ear. Earring. So, beautiful of flowers. Paripitcha Lhasa Mukhaya and on head, that is Paripitcha means pick up feather. Banna Sajay Kavalavitra Vishana Venu is decorated, his whole body top to bottom with worldly flowers who came from, who produced in jungle automatically. Kavalavitra Vishana Venu, innocent food stuff and stick or cow grazing and fruit kefir. Last month, he kept his fruit here. What is the rest? Kavala Vatka Vishal, last month, Sri Mridupade Kosupangva Jaya. Kosupangva Jaya. What is last month? Last month means so many good symbols on his feet. Where? Auspicious mark under his soul. And it's... What part there? Like Dhaja, Vajra, Ankus, Pataka, Chariot, Colors, Peace, so many things. So he's moving here and there, all Mars are coming on Earth. Medupade. Medupade means slowly, slowly is moving. Slowly and slowly. Like elephant boy. Very big. Become careless, he's working freely and very slowly and slowly. Smiling. Smilingly. So I know it. Know so it. I go down in a lotus feet. Any so, you know? Narnasta. <coughs> Well, I can't find it. Then, Then, he climbed down from his one carrier and fell again and again, offering his pronouns to Krishna and in a faltering voice with his hair standing on end and tears flowing from his eight eyes he began to offer so many prayers such as this beautiful prayer uh, What he is very saw like, Krishna like, no, we got the upper point um, What? Yeah, he was yeah. taking something? He saw Krishna how he was standing like an ordinary boy holding some prasada uh, yeah. yeah. in his left hand some fruit, some yogurt, some rice and some and it is dripping through his fingers, right? dripping through his fingers. So, Ramaji began to offer prayer. Gyane prayasa murapasya namatta eva Jivanti sanmukaritam babadhiya vartam Stane stita asutikatam tanuvan manove Ye prayaso jita didopya sita istilokyam Ramaji is saying, Gyane prayasa, that the endeavor for knowledge, Buddha Pasya, it should be given up in the month Eva. And rather, one should just do pranam to Krishna. And Jivanti Sanu Karitam Bhavadiya Vartam. Jnane Prayasam Uttapasya. Jnane means, Jnane Prayasa means the endeavor to acquire knowledge about Krishna, about the absolute truth, and also the knowledge of Krishna's opulence that the knowledge of Krishna's opulence it is uh, an obstacle, a stumbling block for those who want to enter into the sweetness of Vrindavan. So, uh, Krishna has said, Aishwarya Gyaneti Sabha Jagat Nishrita Aishwarash Shitila Prema Nahimur Prita In this whole universe, everyone has the Aishwarya Gyan. They know me as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But love which is made feeble by this Aishwarya Gyan is not satisfying to me. 
can be explained here with Vishesh Gyan? With Vishesh Gyan, yes. And uh, also the Brahma Jiva Aikya Gyan, the knowledge of near Vishesh Gyan, of Brahma, thinking that the Absolute truth is formless, impersonal, with no qualities, with no pastimes, no abode, no associates, no activities. This here, yeah, it, it should be rejected. Here, yeah, not this. Yeah, they are apparently offensive in Krishna Lord's feet. So here, it is not told. Only, Gyan Misha Bhakti, here. Thinking that Krishna is supreme personality of God. He is Narayan, like this. This is also to be stopped. So, if, then one may say, if we give up this knowledge of the opulence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then how will we understand anything? So, Brahmaji is giving the actual suggestion. What is that? Jivanti san mukaritam bhavini avayatam. That one should hear the sweet pastimes of Krishna. From oh, where? From here. Sarbo is on repentance and oh, Sarbo You should be one bush. I will point it. Otherwise, if you are short, short here, there, who are you can Like a bush. So, we, we will cut your sight. Oh, oh, oh. And you will eat only two. <laughs> So he said, what, what will we do? How will we understand anything? Jivanti san mukaritam bhavadi avartam. One should hear the descriptions of Krishna's sweet pastimes. Where? San mukaritam. That means, not from any tape, not from any book, not from any video, or on any folio, or internet, or database. No. Jivanti san mukaritam. You have to hear these things from the mouth, from the lips of Sat, the pure devotee. Or anything. So then he said, Stane sita suti gatan tanovan manobir, ye quiet so dita didopia sita stilokyam. Stane sita. This has different meanings. One meaning is, stay where you are. There is no need to make any external arrangements or change anything. If you are brahmachari, then remain brahmachari. If you are in uh, Rihasta Ashram, then stay in Rihasta Ashram. If you are Vanaprastha Sanyas, then stay in that Ashram. No need to make any external arrangements. But subject yourself to the flow of nectar coming out from the mouth of any pure Vaishnava. Mm -hmm. And the second meaning, Stane Stita, means one meaning is stay where you are, meaning stay in your Ashram. And the other meaning is, that place where there is a sadhu speaking the sweet pastimes of Krishna, sweet Harikatamrita, then stay in that place and never leave that place. Always hear constantly the Harikata from the lips of a pure Vaishnava. Then? What doing? What doing? What doing? What doing? Yes. Doing what there? Stane Sita Sruti Gatan Tano Van Mano Bhir. And not only hearing for enjoyment, but actually tanum van manobia, completely surrendering one's body, mind and words to that sadhu. Then the Harikata will no. enter into the heart. Again, again. Doing pranam to that place. Doing pranam to who is telling Harikatha. Doing pranam to Srimad Bhagavatam, what is ready. And doing pranam to who has managed Arrange. Arrange everything. <coughs> Those who have managed, oh, a person should come and tell Bhagavad. And he has invited all Vaishnava. They have made an arrangement of prasadam. Anybody is making arrangement of mats. Mats and sataranji. One one is one of anybody is brahmin. So all, bring pranam to all, by whole body. And mind, oh how I am lucky that I am hearing very good. So do pranam also by heart and by mind also. And giving respect to all, especially those who is speaking very good. Like whom? Like Valde Prabhu. 
like Guru, like Parishit Maharaj have so much fame, so much honor, and so much trust in Paikam Sukhde Goswami. So like fight. So if is anyone doing like this, Thang is the Tat Parman Manovi Prayasu Ajito Abhi Jita Ku. So then the question may come in the mind, if I give up the proper knowledge and all of these things, how will I control my mind? How will it be? So one should not fear about this. Brahmaji is saying, Yei Prayasa Jita Jito Taipyasi Taistu Lokyam that the many sages and yogis, they endeavor so hard to control their mind and senses. But for one who hears the sweet Harikata, what do you to be... Control Krishna. So mind is very significant. They don't want to control him. They want to control his Krishna. The Krishna is never controlled by anyone. The moment those who are hearing Harikata, I like these. This is very soon stando. And gradually, Sadhana Bhakti, Mahabhakti and Prima Bhakti. And thus it lies, becomes successful. successful. Then, what? So, the, simply by hearing the Harikata, what to speak of controlling like very easily. Krishna uh, don't, becomes under control. Don't have so much faith on reading. Everything is wrong. Ja Bhagavad Pada, Vaishnavayarasana. I will read myself and I will be Paramahans. You cannot understand a word even. So if the Vaishnava is bona fide, who is bona fide, and he knows all these things, then I can open Srimad Bhagavad law and Vicky. And then you can know and realize. Otherwise, by your mind, by your intelligence, by your reading, by grammar and so on, Anuswar Vishwarga, oh, you can, and you will fail from. So we hear from Vishwarga. Yeah. So, by hearing the Hare Krishna, then Krishna, he becomes... What we can? What we can? Krishna will come by hearing in the shape of words, Hare Krishna, in heart. And then he will clear all kinds of doubts, all kinds of anartha, offenses and everything, and his heart will be so pure and very smooth. And Krishna will make him realize that everything is what we do. This is the process. Tashmi Mahan Mukhantamu. That's all. So you should try to hear from qualified person. And if there is lacking of that, then you can read. But it will be better that when again Vaishnava will come, you should hear. I think you have read Srimad Bhagavatam so many times, but as we are explaining, we have never heard anything like this. <laughs> <laughs> less and less, but we will let, we will let people try to know all these things. We have heard from our Guru so many Vaishnavas. With Vishwanath Chakrati Chatur Bhakti Vinod Chakur, Jiva Shana. And then we have something very little as a stone on the bank of eh? oh, endless ocean. Now it is so seven minutes. So we will explain some other shlok tomorrow, or other story. Go Prama. Try to know. See the hands. To take it in our heart. When you should go from here, you yes, should try to remember all this. What Maharaj has told, what Gurudev has told, what Vaishnava has told. And then, uh, remembering is remembering, you should sleep down 
and in sleep you will see that all the thoughts start from. And if you are not going, then you are going from here and coming everything here, keeping here everything and uh, remembering worldly things and you then no, no good. From tomorrow we will begin to move from here. Oh, this year all the days were so much, so much good, so much pure day. And we are so much lucky to hear so many Harikatha. More than Paikun. So, from tomorrow, quickly, gradually, they will leave this place and they will go to other countries. Singapore. From Singapore to Bali, Australia. So, I invite you all. Uh, what about this tomorrow? Tomorrow evening. There is a program still. Evening at what time? Uh, normal time. As time? Last, last now. Starting at 5 o'clock. Same as today. I think that uh, uh, Govinda Bhattar can train for his extra food. And many call that. No, Where? Tomorrow is a program here. All the persons who are coming from India, that group who is blind, they have been invited. To meet you and do a performance. They will have to go outside. Here? They will come here. Oh, then here we can. Like very close. Very good. Nothing to go anywhere. Oh, very good. Okay. Tahune me lo shame de 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 lo shame Radhe Jai Jai Mahadava Dei Jai Sri Ambarshan Jai Jai Radhe Jai Jai
Krishna, 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 Krishna,